Psh, psh. So today I'm going to show you a little bit of my studio, how it's set up, just because I've been doing some tweaking here and there. I would say this studio is in its most optimal setup. I feel like showing you what my space currently looks like. My current studio space, got that on shelves, got this on a stand, <clears throat> my Motu Ultralight MK3, my laptop, dual screen setup. I've got the M Audio Oxygen 25 MK4 right next to my laptop on my desk. <clears throat> And I also have my MP, MPC Live on uh, my synth stand here. And <clears throat> this space is in its most optimal setup. The only thing that I'm really tweaking is I'm taking this. Uh, this is next. Normally this sits on the stand over here. But uh, I have it next to my laptop. And I know it's in front of the monitors, but whatever <laughs> I don't really care I'm gonna find something to raise the monitors I think I think I'm gonna find some uh, cinder blocks or, or something along those lines that fit here to raise the monitors but what I'm doing is I'm taking this I like having it next to my laptop right now just because I've it, this seems to be what I'm playing with mostly is the M Audio Oxygen 25 MK4 I am switching this out with the MPC Live and I don't know, I just like having stuff right next to me, like I, I do have my Yamaha EX7 over here. I don't, I haven't actually been using it a whole hell of a lot, like I did for the last thing uh, I did, but or one of the last things that I've done, as I stated earlier, I'm probably going to switch it out with this eventually and work primarily on the MPC building sampling into this or loading samples into this and then triggering those samples and recording the the trigger sequences and stuff like that so but that's that's kind of what the state of my studio is I just kind of wanted to share that it's not it's I mean there's there's not much that has changed really uh, it's just that I'm just mostly using this and intending on using a lot of this a lot of my other gear is not getting utilized right now so uh, not that there's anything wrong with that it's just uh, I feel more interested in using the couple of select pieces that I, I, I have been using, so... I'm using the MK, I'm Audio uh, Oxygen 25 MK4 mostly these days. I'm not entirely sure why, it's, it's what's inspiring me right now. I granted it's not a dedicated hardware synthesizer, but... I am really enjoying using it. I just find utilizing that with VSTs and or triggering pro, uh, samples from within a VST is what's inspiring me. And I'm not, like I said, I'm not entirely sure why that is. It just feels different because I'm not working in with within hard a hardware synth sampler or whatever. However, like I said in earlier in the video, the I. I am moving it around with the MPC Live. That just seems to be what's inspiring inspiring me right now. By the time you see this video, I'll probably be either in the middle of a huge mixing phase. I've got probably six albums in the tank right now. Five or six of them need to be mixed. So I'll likely be in a huge mixing phase by the time you see this. Or I'll be just through that mixing phase and I'll be working on the next thing. But that's it. I just wanted to share this current studio setup and share what I'm kind of thinking and doing. Uh, I was considering a studio desk upgrade, but I don't think I'm going to now because I was looking at some of the stats for the desk I was, I was potentially interested in. And this desk that I currently have is actually the same size as the the professional studio desk so and really all I wanted the, a new desk for is so I can raise up my uh, monitors a little bit so they're they're sitting you know level with you know my ears and stuff like that so I'm hearing everything properly but I've got another solution to that and I don't think I'll be getting a new studio desk I think 
I'm probably going to get some cinder blocks to raise up the monitors on my desk. Granted, that's not a perfect solution, but at least it's something and at least they'll be raised up a little bit so when I'm sitting at my desk I'm actually hearing semi-properly. That's it. That's all I wanted to say. That's all I wanted to share. Just wanted to share my studio, what it is currently and what I'm doing and stuff like that. And there'll be more videos coming of stuff that I'm doing in the studio. So if you're interested in seeing some of that, uh, definitely keep it locked to this YouTube channel and uh, we'll have some more studio-based stuff coming your way. We did do making ofs in the past but it seems like nobody was interested in that kind of thing so I'm going to be doing some different things uh, that could be associated with making of videos but they're not entirely making ofs it's just different stuff and if you enjoyed this video please give it a like if you feel it has value please share it if you have any questions or comments regarding this studio setup tripping on a cable studio setup or uh, studio setups in general and Maybe, tr maybe you're trying to figure out how you can optimize your, your studio and you're just a new underground act of some form and you're just looking for a, a way to make it more efficient for your creative process. Leave those in the comment section. Maybe I can help you there. I don't know. Maybe I'd have to, maybe I'd have to see your, what kind of space you're working with, but I'll, I'll try my best to answer those kind of questions and so leave them in the comment section. And if you feel this channel has value, please hit that subscribe button to be notified when the next video comes out. So see you in the next video. Fuck.